The first course is prepared by Julian Serrano at Las Vegas. He presents darns of salmon with an interesting saffron beurre blanc. Darn is a French cut of fish. Then Stephen Austin offers another fish from Atlanta. It's monkfish, wrapped with prosciutto and served with English pea risotto and porcini mushrooms. Finally, dessert is presented by Chaya Conrad at Dickie Brennan's Steakhouse in New Orleans French Quarter. She caramelizes sugar on top of individual sweet potato cheesecake. Picasso is one of the high-end dining rooms in the huge Bellagio Hotel in Las Vegas. It's one of the best, and in fact was named Restaurant of the Year in John Mariani's 1999 Esquire Review. He points out that executive chef Julian Serrano is the principal reason. Here are his sautéed darns of salmon. Okay, now we're going to make it the darner de salmon with saffron sauce. First, we want to make it the uh, the saffron to make it the color for the for the bear blonde. We have the saffron here, and what we want to do is smash with the knife. The reason to do that is this way the colors the coming easy. We put a little bit of white wine and yes, cooking for about one minute and uh, left to rest in to relieve all the color. And we're also we're going to reduce. This is white wine, white peppercorns, shallots, and a bay leaf. And uh, first of all, we want to take out the skin. Darn is the French term for a cut from a large, round fish. See, always you use the knife and very smooth. It's quite easy to do that. Go to make a three fillets. And also we want to make it now a dance, turning around the salmon, shape a little bit. And also you put together with a two feet, this way stay together. And now the look at almost boiling and we want to do the bourbon there. The white wine and saffron infusion is completed. Now we want to make it a bourbon. blanc. Addition, we add a little bit of cream. And we will tear the butter slot. Okay, butter is there. We we'll to add salt, pepper, and we add the saffron to make it a bourbon brown saffron. You this way you can control how much color and how much flavor you want to put. I think we want to put just a little bit more. And they get very beautiful uh, yellow color for the saffron. 
everything for the chinois. We want to do the presentation. We have the slice, pepper thin slice zucchini. You can slice in the mandolin, it's easy to do it. And we want to cook it for about 10 seconds and boil water. I'm going to try to make it look like a flower. This will become a zucchini rose garnish. The blanched slices are overlapped on a paper towel. Now we're rolling all together. We made it like a, looking like a flower. Put a little bit of oil in the pan. We should add the salmon. I like cooking my salmon. Uh, medium to medium rare or a lot of people they say pink i think it's the best way to do it flip and the salmon is very interesting you can see how the cooking how the color start to change from very pink to a little more light pink like this one. We remove two pieces. So we put a little bit of saffron in each hole. Then mm -hmm. with a petit pois. A little bit tomato con cassé. And we finish touch the shoulder. Enjoy. The Hedgerow's Heights Inn placed fourth in the 1999 Gourmet's Top Table Reader's Poll. At taping time, the executive chef was Stephen Austin. 
His early work was at the River Café and Le Bernardin in New York, as well as several restaurants in Paris. His entree is prosciutto-wrapped monkfish and risotto. The next recipe I'm going to prepare for you is a uh, prosciutto-wrapped monkfish sautéed off with a, um, a risotto with uh, fresh English peas, a little bit of prosciutto, porcini mushrooms or seps, and uh, some uh, minced shallot. And uh, it's served with a thyme-infused veal jus, some uh, Parmesan twills, and fried basil. Here we have a, a, a monkfish loin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half and make uh, small tornadoes out of it. They're going to be presented like on the up end. I'll take uh, some fresh prosciutto, a little bit of the fat is uh, all right, but you don't really want too much. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of cracked pepper and thyme to add a little further seasoning to it. Fold that over, take my turnado, pepper on each side, and a small amount of salt, not too much. Season it. Roll the prosciutto around the monk. Take a little bit of butcher's twine. to secure the, uh, the prosciutto. The packets are browned in olive oil. I'm going to sear them only on the top and the bottom side, not on the, uh, on the, uh, the side with the prosciutto. Once those sear, I'm going to put them in the oven. Once I get coloration on both sides, I'm going to finish them in the oven for about six minutes or so. Okay. Now I've got some coloration on the other side. And I'll finish them in the oven at this stage. presentation begins with the risotto. Take the string off the, uh, cut the string off the monkfish. Place your mushrooms around the plate. Here I have a, uh, a veal reduction that's been infused with thyme and some of the porcini mushrooms and some white wine. So I remove this from the mold. Delicately place the monk on top. Twill. Finish it with the sauce.
One of 1999's promising restaurant openings in New Orleans was Dickie Brennan's Steakhouse. He's a member of the famed Commander's Palace branch of the family and tapped into the increased popularity of red meat. The pastry chef there is talented young Chaya Conrad. She offers sweet potato cheesecakes. First step to make the cheesecake batter. Take your cream cheese. This is a pound and a half of cream cheese. It helps if the cream cheese is, but is come up to room temperature. If you take it out the night before, it won't harm it at all. You want to take your brown sugar and your flour. And you want to mix that. You want to make sure that you scrape it down often while you do this so that the so that there aren't any lumps in your cheesecake. You want to add your sweet potato puree next. I like to roast my sweet potatoes first. It caramelizes the sugar and gives it better flavor. Want to add your sour cream next? There was a pound of sweet potato puree and a half a pound of sour cream. your eggs one at a time. If you add them all at once, the entire mixture is going to separate and by the time it comes back together you're going to add too much air into the mixture and your, your cheesecakes will souffle up. A total of five eggs are added. Once everything's incorporated, you're going to add half a teaspoon of nutmeg, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of molasses, and a tablespoon of lemon juice. Halfway full. The bowls were coated with vegetable oil spray and sugar. The cheesecakes are baked in a water bath at 300 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. The garnish for the dish is made with Tweel cookie batter. The common batter is divided into thirds and flavored with cocoa, almond extract, and cinnamon, then spread onto a leaf stencil, which is, by the way, as close as anyone can get to fall in New Orleans. You're going to bake these in a convection oven for about two to three minutes, and in a conventional oven, it's going to take more like seven or eight minutes at 325. Once they come out of the oven, they're very thin. You need to be very careful. When they come out of the oven, you want to get them off the sheet pan immediately and drape them on a bowl in order to shape them. And once they're hard, they look like this. On this, you want to take the cheesecake out of the ramekin, then in the middle.
The brown sugar on top of the cheesecake is caramelized with the torch. Creme anglaise is added. 